Hi guys, thanks for watching. Welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about several different ways you can elevate your home, make it look more expensive, more professionally decorated, put together, custom. I'm really looking forward to this because I share a lot of home decorating videos, like super sped up, start to finish, but I don't think I've ever sat down and talked about the how, the why, what I've learned along the way. So I really hope that you find these tips helpful. If you do like this style of video, this like sit down thing is a little bit different for me. I don't do this very often so if you do enjoy this video please be sure to like it please consider subscribing if you are new to my channel welcome I would love to have you let's get started the first tip I'm starting with has to do with your bed bedding in general I have a lot of tips in this category and I'm starting here because everybody can relate to it whether you still live at home or you have your own place so I'm going to start with the pillows once all of your pillows are on the bed start to pull the pillows in the middle up higher a lot of height is going to make your bed and your bedroom look a lot more luxurious and just high-end in general I do this literally every single time I make my bed I pull the white ones up higher so that you don't really see the actual ones we sleep on in the very back you're not very cute and fun to look at but the chenille fabric with a blue floral looks so nice together so I'll just pull those white ones up and the weight from the pillows in the front and the back will hold those in place now I know that six pillows is a lot that can get expensive quickly so on the pillows that are just there for looks those white ones I'll go to home goods or TJ Maxx even a Marshalls and I will get the pillows there that are the least expensive because they are solely for looks it doesn't matter how comfortable they are and what they feel like and all of our pillows are king size so I believe I got a set of two of those for $14 like $7 each you don't have to get you know like the $40 ones that are very comfortable and that's a great way to elevate your bed without spending a lot of money you also don't want your bedding to be too colorful I've always loved very neutral bedding if you follow me then you know I love color we have a ton of color in our house but your bedding is one area that the more neutral it is the higher end it looks in my opinion I also really like to add in just a little bit of color so the blue and white floral the throws on the bottom the pillows are at the top to kind of pull it together and then texture you really want some variation in your texture so I have the poop pillows the chenille texture on the bedspread and all of it just comes together so nicely I'm also a huge fan of different prints and coordinating colors so I have the white and blue floral the white and blue antelope somehow it just works that's another tip you'll hear all the time when it comes to elevating your home decor style and making it look a lot more professional is not having all the same thing so I could have just this white bedspread and it looks fine but it just looks fine like that's it you know having all the different textures and colors pulls it together and makes it look a lot more high-end my next tip has to do with artwork every home needs artwork to look finished put together expensive there is a ton of expensive artwork out there but there's also a ton of affordable artwork that looks expensive and I do have a couple rules when it comes to this category these are just personal preference so you don't have to take these as law but I either look for framed artwork or if it's a canvas it has to have texture if it's unframed in general it has to have texture I think that flat artwork that's not framed will look cheap Cheap almost 100% of the time now there is a few exceptions to this rule so chinoiserie panels I'm looking at um, some canvas artwork that is flat in my bedroom this is the exception it is a look for less chinoiserie panel a real chinoiserie panels are like a thousand dollars each starting at I have looked high low and everywhere in between and I have never seen real ones for less than that so this is a look for less exception to the rule if it is a canvas I look for texture in the paint so in my hallway that's what I'm referring to with this little tip that has some texture in the paint on the flowers it does have a wood border on the canvas too which I think helps to elevate this style I love paneled artwork that's a great way to fill a space without doing a ton of work so this two panel it's a Venetian plaster or like a look-alike behind me that is from Balor Designs. I love that website for artwork. Some of it is fairly affordable. Some of it's a little bit expensive. They do have a lot of sales. So either you can find something on that website and purchase it, or you can get inspiration from something on there if it's a little bit out of your budget. I also love sets, so like a set of six in the same frame. Such a great way to fill a space without having to search high and low 
for different elements. I've never been a huge fan of gallery walls with a bunch of different elements. So like square frames, rectangles, circles, a mirror here, flowers here. I just, I feel like that's so busy. It's so hard to find a ton of different elements that all go together. And then you have a ton of awkward holes in the wall if you want to change things. It just makes it very difficult. So I like framed art. I like canvas art with texture. And that's just what I go for. Now let's touch on lighting. This is another one of those ideas that makes the biggest difference. I know this isn't exactly renter friendly, but it can be. If you guys would like a renter friendly home decorating video specifically renter friendly, give this a like and I'll be sure to do that. I have so many ideas that are renter friendly and a lot of you know I actually prefer those over the permanent ideas almost every time because they give you the freedom to change things in a couple years if you want to. So this is to switch out the lighting from the builder grade items or from whoever was there last and had a completely different style than you. If you are renting, then just get permission, hold on to the old light that was there, and then when you move, you can just put that one back up. If you have decorated your bedroom, if you painted the walls and done the bedspread, the bed, all of the furniture, and the last thing you need to do to make the space really look finished is switch out the light fixture, hopefully hearing this is gonna be the final push you need to get that done. This makes the biggest difference, you guys. There's DIY ideas, there's high-end, there's affordable. You can get a light fixture almost anywhere at any price point, and it's gonna make the space look so much better when it fits with everything else going on. Now let's talk about customizing. Custom anything is a great way to make your home look so much more expensive and it's so easy. A great way I make this very affordable is instead of shopping for a specific monogram, which is of course as custom as it gets, there's upcharges for that, I will just search for a specific letter. So I'll search on Amazon for letter B. Our last name is Buter, so that B is going to fit anywhere in our house. And I found these hand towels. It was a set for $29.99. I also did see sets for $19.99. So there's a lot of price variation here. It can get very, very affordable. If you're on a higher end website, it's gonna be a little more expensive. And you can take this as far as you want to. A bath mat, shower curtain, bath towels. I even saw rugs, like indoor rugs with letters on them, front door mats. All of these are such great, easy ideas and generally very affordable ways to elevate your space. If you do want something that's monogrammed for a deal, I have found for a long time that Land's End always has a ton of sales on monogram items. I did see the monogram bath mats right now for like $27, so that's not very pricey at all. Just wanna mention that if you want the true monogram instead of only the letter, but only the letter is a very good option too. Handle swap or pull swapping is my next idea. And this is nothing new. Everybody knows you can switch out handles and pulls on furniture, but it takes a lot of us a while to get around to it. So I wanted to mention it today. I do this on almost all of my affordable furniture and actually almost all of my furniture is very affordable. I rarely buy like super expensive furniture because I don't like to worry about it. I like to have iced coffee here, there, and everywhere. And with reviews these days on websites, I always look at the customer photos to see what the product actually looks like. It generally is very different than that like perfect studio shot on the website. So this is about handles and not affordable furniture, but I guess a tip I'm gonna throw in there. So there's a lot of places to buy your pulls. I buy them on Amazon, on Wayfair, even Anthropology, Etsy especially. The pulls on the drawers in my closet are a dupe for Anthropology pulls. The price difference is crazy. I'll put it on the screen, can't remember off the top of my head. But yes, Etsy is a really, really good place to look for like specific dupes and it's gonna make your furniture look so much nicer. Wall molding is a great way to make your home look more expensive and professionally designed. It elevates the space so, so much. So in Forest Room, we did the flat style panel across and then on the top and bottom, added picture frames on top of it. I absolutely love how this looks. And then in our room, we did a little more of a traditional style on this wall and this wall. Now my husband did this. He is not a professional woodworker by any means. He was able to figure out how to do this from blog posts because it's just either straight cuts or 45s that you put together and that is it. Fill it with some wood putty, paint it the same color as the wall and you are good to go. This one's gonna take a little bit longer than hanging a picture, but it's gonna make the biggest difference. Now, if you would like one idea from today's video, you can do today, you can do this weekend while you're out running your errands to refresh your home. This tip is very simple, straightforward, and for you. So this has to do with throw pillows. Please, you guys, 
please get throw pillows in different colors that fit together in the same color family in different sizes textures patterns please it looks so much better than just having all of the same pillows i've done this in my living room on the couches this is a never-ending project i'll always be switching out and finding new throw pillows and i have some that are solid white some that are solid blue some that have white and blue on the same pillow makes the biggest difference ever it's going to make your furniture look more expensive it's going to make your space look more professionally decorated all the things so easy anybody can do it there's no commitment if you find you don't like the pillow you just return it. And almost all of my throw pillows are from Home Goods. They have really nice quality, heavy throw pillows for affordable prices. Well guys, those are all my tips for today. What did you think? Let me know below which tip was your favorite, which one are you gonna use first? I absolutely love to share home decor tips with you. Different ways you can do things for not a lot of money. Affordable is absolutely the name of my game so I can splurge on what I really want. If you did like this video, please be sure to hit the like button. That helps me out so much. That also helps me to know that you enjoy this style and I should keep it up. Please consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. There's clean with me's, there's organization, there's lifestyle, a lot of different things here. And I have recent videos and more below. I'll see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.